Praise the Lord. Eloi, Eloi, lama sabatani Eloi. Eloi, Eloi, lama sabatani Eloi. Eloi, lama sabatani Eloi. Eloi, Eloi, lama sabatani Eloi. Eloi, Eloi, lama sabatani Eloi. Eloi, Eloi, lama sabatani Eloi. Our Father in heaven, the living and the true God, we praise you because you have not forsaken us. Lord, we look up unto heaven and we present the church at large before you. We pray that all the challenges going on all over the world will call for your intervention. Amen. Father, step into the battle. Amen. And I pray that let victory be our portion on every side in Jesus' name. Amen. It is written that you build your church and the gates of it shall not prevail against it. Father, take over. Go before us with drawn sword in flame and fire. Make the rough ways plain and the crooked places straight. Father, break the gates of brass and bars of iron that they used to lock the churches all over the world and let the show be open for worship to your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. And we're asking you, the God that we serve, Lord, empower believers, empower believers. Amen. Empower believers, quicken them to arise as great army and move all over the world before the trumpet in Jesus' name. I pray, have your way. May your name be glorified as we look into your world this hour. Speak to transform us and make us that which you want us to be in Jesus' name. Thank you very, very much. In Jesus' powerful name, we pray. Shall we be seated? Turn your Bible to the book of Mark, chapter 15. Mark, chapter 15. Reading from verse 30. Save thyself and come down from the cross. Likewise. Also, the chief priests mocking said among themselves with the scribes. Himself or that, himself he cannot serve. Let Christ the King of Israel descend now from the cross, that we may see and believe. And they that were crucified with him revived him. And when the sixth hour was come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabatani, which is being interpreted, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? In John chapter 4, John chapter 4, I read verse 34. Jesus said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me, and to finish his work. Say ye not that I yet four months, and then cometh harvest. Behold, I son to you, lift up your eyes, and look on the field, for they are white already to harvest. And he that reapeth receiveth wages, and gathered fruit unto life in Tana, that both he that sow it and he that reapeth may rejoice together. And herein is that saying true, one sow it and another reapeth. I send you to reap that whereon you bestowed no labor. Other men labor, and you have entered into their labors. In Romans chapter 8, verse 28, and we know. And all things work together for good to them that love God and to them who are the called according to his purpose. So from this chapter, some verses, I'm bringing to you the topic, Elohim, Elohim, Lama Sabatani. Take it again, the topic, 
Elohim, Elohim, Lama Sabatani. Every worker, leader, pastor, a member of the body of Christ all over the world should never think that the Lord has forsaken the believers of churches all over the world because of what is on ground today. Brother, what is happening in the present days is the answer to our prayers for the salvation of the souls of multitude all over the world. Remember, the Lord is the master builder. He is the one building his church. In the course of building, many things are bound to happen. What is going on in our society and all over the world today? And the church is being locked down everywhere. I want you to understand there is nothing to worry about. God whom we serve knows about it. And I want to let you know nobody can stop him. Are you hearing me? Yes, nobody can stop God. In fact, he says in Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. Let's see. Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. I saw so unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Who owns the church? Who is building the church? Can anybody stop him? Can human beings stop him? Can government of the world stop him? Can witches and wizards stop him? Can human beings stop him? The church must be built and finished. Now, I want you to take note of this wherever you are. The devil is about to make the same mistake that aimed the whole world salvation. Now, there is nothing to worry because devil is instrument in the hand of God to fulfill his projects. Devil is a raw material. Likewise, all the agents of the devil are what? Raw materials. Whoever that is thinking that is fighting the church is a raw material. There is no way you can fight against your maker. With all your money, with all your power, God is your maker. Now, there is something I want you to take note of. Devil made a mistake. I want to remind you, he crucified Jesus, thinking that he has defeated God, not knowing that the day he crucified Jesus was the day the whole world gained salvation. Now, listen to me. My devil aiming to lock the church. That is the beginning of worldwide revival. And more tutu shall be saved. Can I hear you say amen? amen? Devil is a raw material. His agent anywhere in the world is what? Raw material. Be it billions of people, they cannot stop the program of God. The whole world can never stop the program of God. Neither disease. <laughs> disease cannot stop the program of God. What is disease? So, the Lord has not forsaken us in the lockdown. It is the instrument of God to bring the real revival and to usher millions and billions of people into the kingdom, including atheists, including those who don't believe in God. Rather, it will return to our testimony. What is happening today will return to the testimony of the church. Amen. God is about to do something. Amen. And all those who are thinking that working against God, God will use them like Pharaoh. Pharaoh thought he was fighting against God. But God used it to advertise his name and advance his work. And the whole world might know God. God used Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Pharaoh stood and said, I don't know God. Neither will I let Israel go. It was there God taught him unforgettable lesson. And then using it to advertise the name of God all over the world. So, what is happening with the lockdown or lock up and aim that church is that the wonders of God will be multiplied. Amen. Can I hear you say amen? amen? So, expect the world harvest, the greatest revival 
it is on course now and after that rapture will take place can i hear you say amen, amen. so all i want you to understand what is happening today will be a testimony to the church amen. in romans chapter 8 verse 28 romans chapter 8 verse 28 and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. How many things? Including what? Lockdown or lock up is working for our good. God has a purpose. God is at work. Do you hear me? God is what? John chapter 5 verse 17. God is at work. And is the unstoppable God. The unstoppable great warrior of all times, of all ages. In John chapter 5 verse 17. But Jesus answered them, my father walked it unto, and they are walk. God is what? At work. Praise the Lord. Will the project be abandoned? Will it be hindered? Will God not finish his work? Now, in Matthew chapter 16, verse 18, take note. 16, verse 18. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of it shall not prevail against it. God will build his church. All the kingdom of darkness all over the world cannot stop it. In Romans chapter 9 verse 28. Romans chapter 9 and verse 28. For he will finish the work. What happened there? He will, for he will finish the work. He has all the resources. Human beings are his materials. Even those that hated him, even those that are agents of the devil, God used them as what? Raw material. Even those that are plotting the downfall of the church, God is using them to fulfill his ministry. So, one thing that is happening is he will finish his work. And it's going to be a short while. In the eyes of those people, they will know that it's God. That relate to the kingdom of man. In chapter 9, verse 28. For you will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness, because a short work will the Lord make upon the earth. So he will finish the work and that very, very short time. So we should take advantage of the situation and launch out into the deep in prayers, in supplication. In fasting, in preaching. Praise the Lord. That is something I want you to understand. When Jesus cried, I said, Elohim, Elohim, Lama Sabatani. An interpretation is, My God, my God, has thou forsaken me? Now listen to me. Did God forsake Jesus? No. Well, now listen to me. He did not. What happened at that primary time? Jesus was carrying the sin of the whole world. And Jesus must pay the price that the whole world might be what? Saved. And so he looked away from him because he was carrying the sin of the whole world. And it was then that Jesus was about to fulfill his ministry. And when he did that, he said, it is finished. And that becomes open door for all who want to be saved all over the world today. So, in this message, which I consider the fluence of headings, one, the reasons, and his plan for the present situation. Two, our expected response and the results. Let's go to point number one. The reasons and his plan for the present situation. During our Lord and Master Jesus Christ's earthly ministry, he went through a lot of difficulties. 
a lot of challenges, a lot of oppositions, trials, persecutions, to the point that he cried out at the cross, my God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? As we have seen in Mark chapter 15, verse 30 to 34. Let's read it again. We can see the challenges, the persecution, the opposition, the trial. Chapter 15, from a start, set thyself and come down from the cross, which means they have need him on the cross, rejoicing. Likewise, also the chief priest mocking said among themselves with the scribe, he self ordered himself, he cannot serve as mockery. <laughs> if I started to let Christ, the King of Israel, descend now from the cross that we may see and believe, and they that we are crucified with him, revive him. And when the sixth hour was come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at that ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eloin, Eloin, Lama Sabatani, which is being interpreted, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? You can imagine what he was going through the pain before he said, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? I don't know the pain we are going through in the present world. God has not forsaken us. Are you hearing me? God is on course, he's building, and he will finish his work. The Father did not forsake him, but rather he has a plan for what he was going through at that moment. God has plan for that. No wonder the Bible said in John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Now whosoever believeth in should not perish. But have everlasting life. Think about it. Why Christ was on the cross? God has a plan to offer Jesus that the whole world might be saved. And that plan must be finished. And God finished it. Praise the Lord. Now, if you look at Romans chapter 8, verse 32, Romans chapter 8. Verse 32. He did not spare not his own son, but deliver him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Now, take note. If Jesus was given by God, the only begotten Son of God, to die for all, I want to let you know what we are going through today. He has a plan. Can I hear you say amen? amen? Romans chapter 5 and verse 8. But God commended his love toward us in that while we are yet sinners, Christ died for us. Christ died for us, the whole world, while we were yet sinners. God was planning, executing the plan. And in expense of his son and unbelievers and sinners and Pharisees and Sadducees and soldiers were mocking the law and the devil was laughing not knowing that it was there that Jesus bruised the head of the serpent it was there that the door was open for the salvation of man for people to have access to God not understanding that it was there that Jesus Christ gave us eternal life. So, take note. It was the plan of God that through his death, the whole world shall be what? Saved. So that more children will enter the kingdom of God. In John chapter 12, John chapter 12, verse 23. And Jesus answered them, saying, The hour is come that the Son of Man should be glorified. How? Well, it will to you. 
except the corn of wheat fall into the ground and die it abided the Lord but if he die he bringeth forth much fruit if Jesus did not die at the cross he will remain alone but for Jesus dying at the cross of Calvary he gave more to do including me and you access into the kingdom he gave us eternal life by his death at the cross of Calvary so God has a plan for what is going on now. More to do shall be saved. And it is happening already. Praise the Lord. Because if you look on many, many places on the world today, you see people worshiping God with all their heart in the lockdown. People on the street worshiping God. People are calling upon God. Everywhere all over the world. More will still call upon God. Even in Nigeria and all over the world. Devil has no wisdom all his wisdom is God's raw material to achieve his purpose the more the devil is locking people down and creating fear of coronavirus pandemic the more people are running to Jesus and becoming saved I want to let you know God has a plan the more people will know the Lord the Savior the mighty Savior and they'll be saved. So, never you ever think that what is happening here now, that God has forsaken you, my friend, God has not forsaken the church. Can I hear you say amen to that? So, God Almighty at the time, our Lord Jesus Christ, did not take away the burden from the Lord. Because it was the time our Lord Jesus Christ was carrying the sin of the whole world. And that must be done. That the whole world may be saved. In Isaiah chapter 53. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 1. Who has believed a report. And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant. And as a root out of a dry ground, he had no form nor comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with griefs, and we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised. And we stand him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him, stricken and smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our translation. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripe we are we are here. Verse six. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. That's what happened there at the cross of Calvary. In our ignorance, in our lack of knowledge of him, the Lord laid the iniquity of the whole world on him. And that is why before he breathed last, he said, it is finished. Before he breathed last, he said what? I have finished the work. Praise the Lord. It is finished. And Jesus, when he was praying, before the execution of that project at the cross of Calvary, in Matthew chapter 20, verse 39, look at what happened there. He prayed the next thing. I don't know how you have prayed. And it appeared that nothing is happening. Let's see. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will. And he cometh unto the disciples and findeth them asleep. And said unto, unto Peter, What? Well, could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray. And you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And he went away again the second time 
and pray saying oh my father if this cup may not pass away from me except I drink it that it will be done so take note Jesus prayed he prayed the next day and the will of God prevailed after too much prayer by Jesus Christ he was still crucified at the cross of Calvary, which is the will of God that all men should be saved and then immediately that Jesus breathed last the Bible said in John chapter 14 verse 6 the way was open the door was open the veil was removed and Jesus said I am the way the truth and the life no man cometh to the father but by me because of dying for us at the cross of Calvary so his will and plan are that our Lord Jesus Christ should die to save the whole world from sin. That is the will of God. And that's why Jesus died at the cross of Calvary. In Romans chapter 8 verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good. Today that loves God. Today we are called according to his purpose. How many things? including what is happening here today in Nigeria, all over the world is working for our good because we love God whatever that is happening in the whole world today is not working against believers it is working for our good it is working to the good to the glory of God and that must be achieved Amen. are you hearing me? Yes, sir. so his plan must be fulfilled in our present days Though the devil may be rejoicing that he has closed the churches and rejoiced and very happy and laughing, he doesn't know that it is a raw material for God to bring more tutu to Christ again, to bring great awakening, great revival. So the devil and demons and their agents will be laughing now. Uh, don't mind them, look at them. Don't mind them, they are in their houses now. They don't gather again, they don't pray to their God again. And they are laughing and happy. My friends, <laughs> I want to let you know, God will show the devil and his agent that he is their creator. Are you hearing me? He will teach them unforgettable lessons. They cannot thwart the program of God. They cannot oppose it. God said, I will walk and who shall let it? Who? He said, I will build my house and the gates of hell shall not prevail. In fact, any man thinking that he is stopping the church, that person is making a hell of mistake. How can you stop? How can you oppose God? You are creator. That can take away your breath now and you drop dead. And then he casts you into hell fire. So don't ever think, don't rejoice that you are maybe you are doing this and doing this against the church. It will not work. So take note. His plan must be fulfilled in our present days. Are you hearing me? The plan of God our Father, our Lord Jesus, the Holy Spirit, the plan must be fulfilled. Though the devil may be rejoicing that he has closed the churches, but our God, through this ugly situation, will open doors of salvation and great revival all over the world. In fact, in the midst of this thing that is happening today, Great revival, Amen. salvation Amen. to man everywhere. And that is what is happening already. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Nobody can stop God. Oh. Romans 8 verse 28 it said, For all things work together for good. How many things? Oh. Including the present lockdown of churches. To them the Lord God, to them who are the court according to his purpose. At the appointed time, God will open the churches. He will do it. Praise the Lord. So, in Romans chapter 9, verse 28, he said, He will finish the work 
are you going to stop God from finishing the work? No way. No, not at all. He will finish the work. I say God will do what? He will finish the work. So get ready. He will finish the work. I want to let you know his plan must be what? Finished. First, take me to point number two. Our expected response and the result. Remember, nothing works against God. Rather, everything working together for good to the glory of God. And also, and they that love him is working together for their good. I go to Romans chapter 8, verse 28. When the devil, demons, and the human agents were rejoicing that they have crucified our Lord Jesus Christ at the cross of Calvary, was the very time God opened the door for the salvation of mankind and for all to be saved. So, God is at work again. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. John chapter 5 verse 17. My father walked it, he to, and I walk. Just as it happened of old, in the same way, it will happen again. I say God will do it again. Amen. While the devil, demons, and the human agents are thinking that they have closed churches, it is at that same time God is using the situation to bring people to repentance and save multitude from sin and from all evil and bring them to the kingdom of God. In Luke chapter 19 verse 10, for the son of man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. The Lord is still in the business in this hour to seek and to save the lost. So what is happening today, God is using it to seek and to save the lost. And he will finish the work. In the book of Romans 9, verse 28, he said he will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness. So, this work must be finished. So, our response to this situation is to fast, pray, and watch always, and preach in season and out of season. As for this thing that is happening now, it will return to testimonies. Can I hear you say amen? amen. He said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against him. May I remind you, wherever you are watching and hearing me, God is greater than the devil, demons, human agent or devil, human beings, and the diseases, and all evil. Therefore, let us return to him so that salvation shall be ours. So that the present pandemic will be crushed. Let us return to him. In Hosea chapter 13 verse 9, God said, Israel, you have destroyed yourself, but in me is your salvation. If the whole world, listen to me, what is going on today, the whole world has destroyed themselves, but their remedy of coronavirus, of all that economic recession problem, is only in the law. That's why he said, in Matthew chapter 11, 28, come to me, all you that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you your rest. So I urge you wherever you are, turn to the Lord, and it shall be well for you. And you shall be blessed. And a nation shall be blessed. The whole world shall be blessed. America shall be blessed. Europe shall be blessed. Middle East shall be blessed. Asian shall be blessed. African shall be blessed. Nigerian shall be blessed. So turn and be blessed. And be healed of virus in Jesus name. Amen. May God bless you. You are blessed in Jesus name. Amen. Rise up and let us pray. Call upon the Lord and stay the Lord. That you will finish the work. It is you that walketh in us. Both to will and to do of thy good pleasure. You will finish the work. Tell him. That you, nobody can stop you, no devil, no man, no authority, no kingdom. You will finish the work. Our Father, I bless your name, I praise your power. I worship you, I magnify you, I pray, have your way. Father, you will finish the work. You will finish the work. I praise you for what I said to do. Lord, you are God and you are not a man. Glorify your name all over the world. Bring to fulfillment the threefold vision, ten billion souls mandate. You will finish the work. Have your way. Zendoma Nakaya, 
She lose under the can pray. Nanga nga ganga zika vila zunje ni can pray. Raskin the lika pray maduvia. Sendovi karuzia. In Jesus name we pray. It is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. It is the Lord's doing. I will praise Him, Hallelujah. Lord, do Him. It is marvelous in our eyes. It is the Lord's doing. I will praise Him, Hallelujah. It is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. It is the Lord's doing. I will praise Him, Hallelujah. The Lord do him. It is marvelous in our eyes. It is the Lord's doing. I we praise him. Hallelujah. It is the Lord's doing. Oh, it is marvelous in my eyes. It is the Lord's doing. I we praise him. Hallelujah. It is the Lord doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. It is the Lord's doing. We will praise Him. Now, remember that song says, It is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. And then we will praise Him. Spend time to praise God from now on, every day. Give Him at least one hour of praises. God is going to come down in His regal glory. Me, and Abednego were in the fire and the Lord came down. As they praised the Lord, he came down and loosed them and set them free. And then prove his name and prove that he is God. So, remember to sing this song one hour and the other song to worship and to praise God because what is happening today is what? The finger of God. Praise the Lord. And so, Lord God Almighty, I know that you are God. And I know there is nothing too hard for you to do. I know that with you all things are possible. And I know that everything is the raw material in your hands. Whether Pharaoh, Nebuchadnezzar, Haman, and Herod, all of them, devil and demons, and human agent, all of them are raw material. My father, whatever is happening in the world today, I will cry to heaven and pray it, and you allow it. I know of a certainty, it is working for our good. Daddy, it is that your name will be glorified. It is that the whole world might know your power again. My daddy, I want to declare that you have not forsaken us. You have a plan. And I praise you for the plan. Oh, you are the master builder. You are the master planner. Have your way all over the world. Father, check them to foundation and make them to call upon you to repent and turn to you in Jesus' name. Whatever human beings are thinking, thinking that they have as advantage and they are thinking that doing against Christ, against the kingdom, against the church, Father, turn them to raw materials and achieve your purpose in Jesus' name. That the, the church has closed that day and that he might open again to receive the whole world. He kahuka kahuka. Zendomi kaperus in Jenny prayer. I therefore pray in the night, the day, 24 hours, begin to walk in the heart of men and draw them to you all over the world. Draw them unto you. Cause the greater revival before the rapture in Jesus' name. I pray that you will finish the world. You will cut it short in righteousness. Therefore, I pray, O oh God. Arise and go before us with drawn sword. 
with flaming fire, being the captain and commander of the church in the wilderness. May the crooked place and rough way straight break the gates of brass. All oh, the lockdown, lock up. My father, I pray, who will set tons and barrier before you? Walk through them and set them ablaze. And I pray, glorify your name in Jesus' name. We we'll plead the blood of Jesus. Father, what is that disease that can stand against you? In the name of Jesus, I cause that disease. Yeah. I command to return back where it's coming from in Jesus' name. Yeah. And I decree, whoever in my nation that remember you and call upon the Lord, let the person be healed. Yeah. And all the nations of the world, wherever they remember you and call upon you, let them be healed. Yeah. Let them be delivered and be free in Jesus' name. Yeah. Thank you very, very much. I am so grateful to you, righteous God. I've been answering our prayer. We are making for people in this case. And we are seeing the result. Father, I decree that more results will follow. In the name of Jesus. And it is amen in heaven. I see the prayers of the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. And it is amen in heaven. Hello, hello. La basa bata ni eloi, eloi eloi. La basa bata ni eloi, eloi. La basa bata ni eloi, eloi eloi. La basa bata ni eloi, eloi eloi. La basa bata ni eloi, eloi eloi. La basa bata ni eloi. Lama sabatani elo 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 Lama sabatani elo 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 Lama sabatani elo 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 Lama sabatani elo elo Lama sabatani elo 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 O Lama sabatani elo 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 La masa batani elo, elo elo. La masa batani elo, elo. La masa batani elo, elo elo. La masa batani elo. The grace, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.